All right, there's no question that alcohol is ingrained into society in 2024. It's ingrained in the very foundation of how we live. And if you're trying to get sober or you are sober, it's hard. It's everywhere. One mistake and it could be, you could go back to drinking, go back to your old ways. So in this video, I just want to offer some of my thoughts on it, some advice, some of the stuff I did to help you. So the first thing you want to do when you're navigating your early sobriety is accept that alcohol is everywhere. It is implanted into society. Accept it. Don't get angry. Don't get angry at people who are still drinking and partying. You can't change them. You can't change the fact that alcohol exists. It's a huge part of the economy. It isn't going away. Getting resentful at that, getting resentful at other people, you're just fighting an uphill battle. So that's the first thing. So if you're going to get sober, you need to change the very foundation of yourself. Because that is something you can control. You can't change the foundation of society, but you can control yourself. So if you're changing, you got to ask, what am I trying to change from? What do I want to change into? Simply just getting sober and only changing your alcohol intake from drinking alcohol to not drinking alcohol and still keeping all those old patterns of behavior, all those, all the same things you've done, you're not really changing at all. If you do that, if you simply just stop drinking, you're going to be going through life kind of bare knuckling it, white knuckling it, frustrated and stressed. It's going to be very challenging. And if you're like me, you're going to always be miserable. I was always miserable when I was trying to get sober or when I was sober and I was trying to fight off the urge to drink. I was always fighting an uphill battle, reacting to things as they would happen to me in life, right? I would, I would go to work, I would get stressed out from my coworkers, I'd be all triggered, I'd go home and I'd just be angry and I, I would be stressed. I, I didn't know how to react to that. And by getting sober, you're taking away the only way that I could cope. And that was by drinking. I would go home at the end of a long day and drink. Now that I'm sober, I can't do that. So now what? I'm just letting all that pent up stress and frustration build up inside of me and I'm a ticking time bomb and I'm gonna be miserable. You know, and there's some school of thought on some therapy that, on some therapy that uh, like in cognitive behavioral uh, therapy and a couple other, you're supposed to figure out what your triggers are and then figure out little tricks to redirect your thinking so that you're not triggered anymore. I think that's kind of poor advice for sobriety because you're always reacting and that's not good. And when you're always reacting, you're only one mistake away. Alcohol is everywhere. You could go six months of, of a stone cold, sobriety and make one mistake and throw it all away. But training to react to all your stressors and your triggers and all your emotions is exhausting and you're just going to exhaust yourself. That's what I did. And unfortunately, that is how a lot of people live their sobriety. They get rid of the alcohol, but nothing else. They change nothing else. There's a lot of people, and I am guilty of this too. I used to think that being sober meant I had to be strong. I had to have all this willpower and I had to have all this control to fight off the urge, to fight off any moment of weakness that I might have, an opportunity to drink. I have to fight it. I would have to avoid it. I would have to basically run from it, from everything in the world that would cause me any type of trigger to drink. But like I said, you can do that. You can do that for years and it's exhausting. One mistake, you're done. And who knows where it's going to take you if you relapse. So you have to change your life, right? That's what this video is about. It's about society being filled with alcohol. So how do you live in that society? You need to change your life. Because if you continue with the same patterns, it's not going to be good. You're going to get down on yourself. You're going to start asking yourself, is sobriety even worth it? I'm miserable. And I did that so many times when I was sober in the past. So what to do? This is what I did. I went to rehab and I went to therapy and I did that also. With the wisdom I know now, this is my advice for you. Go dark from your old life that you are trying to change from. Do not bring the old version of yourself into this new life of yours that you are going to create for yourself. Remove everything from the old life moving forward. This means social circles that are not good for you. And you're going to have to make some tough, tough decisions. I had to make some tough decisions when I got out of rehab. I had to kick a roommate out of my place that I was living at because she was going to be bad for me. I was very vulnerable right out of rehab. I had to kick her out. I was actually in rehab when I told her she had to leave. So I removed her and it was a tough decision, right? She, she was my friend. Nine months later, I had to remove another roommate because there was three of us living in, at my place and I had to remove my other roommate because nine months later, we were just on different life trajectories and I, my life had changed. And that roommate, he just wasn't a part of my future anymore or even my present anyway. It was, just, it was time to move on. So you're going to have to be ready to make some tough decisions in early sobriety if you are going to navigate yourself 
through the vulnerabilities of early sobriety into a sobriety of fulfillment and happiness. Hey guys, it's David here. I just wanted to add this into the video real quick. Don't make any brash decisions too quickly on your own. Talk to people about the decisions you're going to make. Like, Don't just quit your job. Don't kick all your roommates out. Consult with people you trust. Go to th I recommend therapy. Go to therapy and get guidance from a counselor or a therapist. Go to AA and start creating a social circle there to get some guidance with the decisions you make in your life. Because you, it, I shouldn't say you, me, when I was first new to sobriety, I had no idea what I had no business making certain decisions because every decision I made just put me in a worse situation in my life. So become open with your life and get some help. Make these decisions with help. So you're gonna kind of want to disappear from your old life. And when I say go dark, I don't mean like blow everybody off and delete all social media. I mean, you can do all that if, if those things are bad for you. By no, by no means, do it if you want, right? But go dark. Whatever, whatever social circles you were in, don't go there anymore. Whatever friends you were hanging around, stop it. Whatever activities you were engaging in, take a break from it. Go six months, go a year, delete yourself from that old life you had. And this is a great time to work on yourself. This is a great time to get into therapy. This is a great time to go to AA or some other uh, recovery support group, uh, Smart Recovery, there's other ones. This is a great time to start building a support system for yourself. Because if you don't have a support system, you're not doing yourself any favors. Do not underestimate what a solid so support system can do for you in early sobriety, even in late sobriety, even when you're well. Uh, I, have a, I still have a really strong support system. I'm coming up five years sober and I wouldn't say I'm well, but I'm, I'm a lot well-er than I was in early sobriety. So that's what you got to do is you're going to have to audit your life, recognize all the bad stuff in it. And this is where a therapist helps recognize all the bad stuff so you can remove yourself or remove those things rather from your life or remove yourself from those things. If that's a better way to look at it, if that makes more sense so that you can work on yourself so that you can start building a life for yourself. That is a fulfilling for you, a better life for you. I currently ha have a life I love. I have no desire to drink. I, I don't even, even though alcohol is still everywhere, I, it's not even like it exists in my life anymore. I have a perfect life where I'm at right now. I, it's very simple life. I go to work, I come home, I have my dogs, my girlfriend, my girlfriend's in university and I have a little YouTube channel that I like build computers on. And that's my life. I have a, like two close friends of mine that I see once a month. I have my, and my parents and my sister and brother. That's my life. I'm not uh, going out on any wild nights out. I'm not having any adventure. I just don't want the adventure anymore. You have to build a life that works for you. And that's the life that works for me. You have to build that life, but you got to remove the old life. And if you don't do that, you're going to continue in that same life you had tiptoeing around everything, getting triggered all the time. And you're one bad decision away from jumping right back into your drinking or failing your sobriety, or whatever it is. This video is the advice I have for you based on the wisdom that I now have that works for me. Obviously your life situation is different than mine. So it's not gonna, you can't do exactly the same thing, but have an idea of what you need to do. Work with somebody, you cannot do this alone. There are people who can do it alone. There are people that can simply get rid of the alcohol and their life is perfect. Their life is better because of it. If you're watching this video, if you're contemplating whether or not you're an alcoholic, contemplating sobriety, if it's hard for you to quit drinking, you're probably not one of those people. You need help, therapy, AA, Smart Recovery, Sober Coach, new group of friends, join a church. I don't know, go volunteer somewhere. Get out of your old life and start a new life. Remove yourself from the bad things from your old life. Don't stay dwelling in the old life because that's a recipe for disaster.